So let's do this first one. Calculate the number of atoms or molecules. And we're given 34.3 moles of sodium. So let's remember what a mole is. A mole is the chemist dozen, right? And just like a dozen is 12, one mole is Avogadro's number of things. So 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd things. That's a fancy word, huh? It could be atoms, could be molecules. You put whatever thing in there you need. So if we have 34.3 moles and we want to know for sodium, are we finding atoms or molecules? Is sodium an element or a compound? It's an element, so we're finding sodium atoms. Not that that matters a terrible amount, but we, we're starting with 34.3 moles of sodium. And all of this stuff on this worksheet is dimensional analysis. We're trying to find the number of atoms. So we're going to multiply by atoms, and we're going to divide by moles because the units tell us to do that, so the moles cancel. Put the units in first. And then we look at this guy. I will give you that on your table of useful information, but it would be a good thing to memorize as well. One mole is that number of things. So one goes with mole, and Avogadro's number goes with things. And my stylus is not working very well today. And then use your calculator. And you do need to use scientific notation here. So we've got 34.3 times, and that's 6.022, and then either the EE button or the EXP button. There's no times 10. I know it says times 10 on there but the EE button does times 10 for you, and then 2, 3 for the exponent equals. And so we get, I'm going to round that off to three sig figs, 2.07 times 10 to the 25 atoms. Any questions? Now you do the next one.